Hey guys, what is up? Sloppy back after uh, a nice Christmas break. It was lovely. Um, yeah, went on vacation, went home, didn't have my laptop so I didn't record or anything. But I am uh, happy to be back and uh, running around uh, this old place, which uh, I'm happy to announce we will be moving out of soon. I think I've sort of done all I want to do here. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's take a quick nap. I think I've done sort of all I want to do with uh, this village um, and sort of over here. There's some stuff that I want to do elsewhere, but I'll show you guys uh, what I finished up over break and sadly uh, did not record. For one, finished the skeleton farm. Got to level 33, something. Got projectile protection for and blast protection for. Two terrible enchants in a row. But anyway, let's uh, do this. So we're going to the skeleton farm. Yep. All right, so uh, path all connected and everything. I'll show you guys what we did. We have a working skeleton farm. And it's actually pretty good. It uh, spawns a lot. But I'll show you something that we sort of had to do. Um, so this is all glassed off. Uh, we kind of have to go down. Well, I'll show you. So it stops here. As you can see, there's this ugly structure because they drop down there. Skeletons come off here and drop all the way down to there. Uh, it's sort of the system we have set up. So you kind of come up here. I like to stand here just for some reason. And uh, you let them spawn, let them spawn, let them spawn, let them spawn. All right, I've been standing here for approximately 120 seconds, about two minutes. Um, and let's go see how many we've got. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pretty good XP farm too, along with the uh, bones and everything, uh, whatever. So yeah, there's quite a few. Uh, push that lever, they all get pushed forward. And I mean, I, you know what, you can punch them, I guess, to death. Um, ones with armor take quite a few punches, so I just use my sword. It's not, it's not even that good of a sword, and you get tons of levels from these guys, uh, probably more than the cave spiders. Um, I guess I could probably kill them with uh, one potion if I wanted. And boom, uh, we're almost back at level 30 for two minutes of standing there. And uh, this wasn't all from them, but quite a bit of stuff. Um, these bows I'm actually quite liking quite a bit. I'll probably put together maybe this one, that one. A couple more on breaking these chests. Uh, I've just been more or less uh, throwing the bows in. Uh, get some nice gold armor. Um, but yeah, so that's that's that. That's uh, our skeleton farm, and uh, I quite like it actually. It's uh, it's handy. It's more or less a, a unlimited supply of uh, bones and arrows, which is cool. It's uh, very fast actually. I mean, you can see it's pretty quick to kill them all. And it's very quick to um, spawn them. They spawn very fast. That was only two minutes of waiting. And it was all those guys. Uh, downside, you have to stand up there to make them spawn, which isn't a big deal. I mean, it's a little annoying, but it's, uh, it's not that bad at all. Um, I might clean up this area eventually, but for now, to be honest, it's fine. I mean, I don't think I'm going to be over here too much. Uh, I'm just going to get bones and Maybe some XP every now and again. I wish we got to level 30 and chance something else. But uh, I didn't. Too bad. Um, for now, I want to move on to something else which I've been thinking about doing for a while. One day we'll go back to that mob spawner we were building, but for now, that is not it. So um, I will be with you guys in just one second. Alright, so here I am, slowly dying. And don't worry, this is purposeful. Boom. Destroyed my bed. So this is uh, my spawn. Negative 239, 149. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a little nerd tower right here. Because I want to use this area for some farms and such. Um, so yeah, I'm actually thinking of a big old structure. Uh, it was around here, wasn't it? Let's just put it here. I'm thinking of a big old structure. I want it to be able to uh, have multiple farms. More or less, I want it to have all kinds of stuff. I want to have a pumpkin farm, watermelon farm, wheat farm, potato farm, carrot farm, blah, 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 blah. And uh, eventually, probably an iron farm. So anyway, uh, this, is, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a big structure, sort of going to be like a centerpiece around my spawn chunk. that is going to have all of those things. So if I need something, boom, bam, boom, it's there. Um, probably not a mob system though, because I think that'll cause too much lag, and honestly, I have <laughs> I have two spawners already. I don't know why I would need zombie flesh, but 
anyway, I'll, I'll, I mean, I got a mob system sort of going over there, but I don't really need mobs over here. This is mostly for um, farms and maybe some animals because they won't breed on their own. So I could probably keep lag pretty low. More or less, this has to be a very big structure. And I want this to be all the automatic farms. Wheat, compare, something, blah, 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 all the stuff that I already named. Done automatically. Automatically. Um, so yeah. Pretty sure my house is over here. So anyway, I'm going to run back, uh, grab my stuff. Uh, I kind of forgot where it was, to be honest. That's why I had to do that. I knew it was somewhere over here, but now I have the exact location. So I'm going to go grab my stuff, uh, which is actually pretty close that way. I did not wander far. This is uh, not a huge island that I'm on. We explored it. One of the episodes, uh, maybe 10 or something. We explored the whole island. It's not very big. There's no horses on it. Um, a lot of rabbits. We had to go quite a way to find sheep up there in the sheep sanctuary. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is going to have animals and blah, 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 blah. And probably um, the center of our nether portal. Because I think this is going to be the center of this island, my spawn chunks. Um, there's also a really nice village, I think, just over there that I found. Um, gosh, it was not long ago. It, but it had ugh, like 30 villagers. No, maybe like 20. But it was a really nice village. Anyway, I'm going to go get my stuff and we are going to start laying out this beast. BRB. I wish I hadn't said that. Um, just ignore that. That happened. Okay, I'll, I'll be back. Hey, guys. Minecraft's trolling me again. Look what I found, like, three steps away. Yep, just a whole bunch of sheep. Awesome, right? Wait, nope. Because we had to wander so far to find them, and now look at that. They magically spawn next to spawn. Gotta love those Minecraft trolls. Haha. <laughs> That's really annoying. I, you have no idea how hard it was to find sheep, to build that freaking sanctuary, all because there was no other sheep on the island, and there they are, just over the hill. Whatever. Whatever. All right, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so um, we're back over here with a whole bunch of stuff. We planted uh, some simple farms to get um, seeds mostly, so we have enough for everything over there. Uh, we have a little house set up in the mountain over there, just with a bed and blah, blah, blah. But now we're going to try and uh, lay out what we want. So basically, right in the center, I want to um, uh, basically have like a room that's more or less a crossroads. Sort of the center point of this whole complex. Now, my original idea was to have this big grandoir foyer and just, you know, have a really nice centerpiece. Um... But the more I'm thinking about it, the more I realize I want this to be more of an industrial complex. So the part above ground, at least, is going to be a very small little thing. And I think eventually the center point is going to be uh, a beacon. So it's going to be the center point of the world. There's going to be a big beacon shining through it. Um, and then I think underneath, uh, eventually, once I get a beacon so it's easier to dig, underneath I'm going to do a huge uh, ballroom type thing. But on the top, we're going to have a very simple room. Um, so let's just lay it out in cobble. It's not going to be made out of cobble, but we'll just sort of lay it out. So from the center point, let's go one, two, three, four, five. Let's go five in each direction. Um, well, let's get some dirt. Let's make this level. So, uh, one, two, three, four. And, uh, let's go, uh, five. Five. Uh, let's see, one. Two, three, four, five. Boop. So yeah, it's gonna be um, a rather small little crossroad. I might make it seven. It looks a little tiny, but uh, yeah, let's go to here. So the next few episodes, I'll probably just gonna be making uh, automatic farms, which is kind of cool. Not something I usually do, so I'll probably be using uh, other people's um, designs, which is fine. I mean. Um, there's one, the pumpkin and uh, melon one. I know what I want to use. Uh, there's a chicken farm I want to make. I want to have a little bit of a tree farm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we have uh, basically our room laid out. Um, I'm not sure if I want to make it like circular, uh, maybe like a little bit rounded. But let me lay that down and then we'll come back and then I'll explain the farms that I want to have. Um, I'll get my thoughts in order because I'm just sort of rambling. Okay, I'll be uh, right back.
Okay, we're back. Um, so sort of a weird shape, but I think I'm happy with it. I think eventually um, the plan would be to make this sort of maybe like a glass dome and then have everything underneath be quite a grand was, but that is a ways away for now. This is our working room, and I don't know quite what I want to make it out of. Uh, that is still very up in the air. Um, probably would for now, and then maybe we'll change it at another point. But anyway, yes, this will be our crossroads. You come in probably from this side. There'll probably be some sort of entrance way. And then uh, one way will lead you to blah, blah, blah. One way will lead you to blah, blah, blah. One day, one way will lead you to the other blah, blah, blah. So here's what I'm thinking. One way, because the pumpkin and watermelon farms will be identical, just one pumpkin, one watermelon, that'll probably be this direction. Well, one of the directions will be pumpkin, watermelon. One direction will be wheat, potatoes, carrots. And one direction will be animals... And then, uh, what other farms would I want? Um, any other farms that I want would have to be somewhere off of those. That's sort of uh, my guideline for right now. I think today we will work on uh, this part, this bowl. And um, maybe we will connect another portal so that we have... Uh, it's pretty easy to get back and forth, but maybe it'll just be a little bit quicker. So we might hook up another portal. I don't really know. I didn't really have a plan for today. I sort of just hopped on and started recording. I knew I wanted to do this, though. It's something that I've wanted to do for a while. And, um, you know, I'm not, uh, I've never really, uh, oh, I need a tree farm one direction. Probably, probably the same direction as the watermelon pumpkin, because those farms are pretty thin. They're more of a vertical farm. But yeah, um, I've been wanting to do some automatic farming for a while, because I'm not really good with redstone. I started my redstone adventures, so that'll kind of continue with this, because I do want to learn about redstone. And uh, also, it's just nice to have automatic farms, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm going to need uh, resources and stuff. So I need a way to get from here to there. Either another portal or a train will be set up, uh, hopefully in this episode. I'm sort of running out of time to record. I just keep talking, just keep talking. Anyway, um, I'm going to get materials to make this room, and then we will get started. All right, and the moment of truth. Hopefully it connects. Um pretty close in the nether actually pretty pretty close yep so uh it's nah, not very far that way to uh uh where our portal in our house is so that's cool all connected up awesome got some sugar cane i forgot about that farm so i think uh right now i should make a list of the farms that i want to have um so let's do this uh together let me write it all down and then i'll read it out I guess that's not really together. You guys know what I mean. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I've got my list together. I tried to group them by um, sort of the mechanics they use. So on one side, which I'm thinking maybe this into the desert side, we have the chickens, cows, pigs, horses, and sheep. And the chicken, I might try and use, um, I don't know if you guys watch Mumble Jumbo, cool YouTuber. He has a chicken cooker thing that he made for the Hermitcraft server that's pretty neat. I might put that over there. I might put it somewhere else because I might cause some lag when you get a ton of stuff in it. But we'll see. So basically all the animals. Um, so that's sort of like a barn side, probably straight. Um, one side is going to have pumpkin, watermelon, sugarcane, and cactus. Those are all more or less um, piston-operated farms. And then uh, the other side, which is going to use, uh, I guess, the water mechanics to collect everything, is your wheat, potato, carrots, and nether wart. Um, if I forgot anything, please uh, remind me. But yeah, that's basically so. Uh, there's going to be a wing for each of those. Nether wart's sort of up in the air, but probably. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan for all this uh, area. I have no idea what just happened with my voice. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's... I've been <laughs> talking about this farm for so long. We have made absolutely zero progress. We have a quick way over here, and I just want to get a basic structure set up. And then next episode, we will probably work on one of these sections. Okay. Um, I guess the first thing we want to do is kind of get a renewable food source for where we are. Um... That's not really growing too fast because it's probably unloaded uh, or maybe like half loaded when I'm over here. Anyway, um, that's not really important right now. 
So let's get this underway. Um, we're going to go very simple, probably stone, brick, and uh, wood. And each section will probably be decorated similarly. I want something simple because we still don't have a ton of resources, you know. I'm not going to do a big nether wart something or clay or anything like that for now. Very simple, very small. And let's uh, get started. Now. All right, here we are. Uh, very simple design. Um, so we got uh, these wood and stone brick pillars. Stone brick bottom, we'll put some glass in to make it uh, lighter. And uh, yeah, this is more or less it um, for this part uh, for now. <laughs> be kind of fun. Um, very, very simple. I'll put some sort of ceiling on it and then we'll end this episode because um, frankly, this is kind of a boring uh, build. It's just something that we need to get done. And I'm pretty happy with it. Eventually, the, there'll probably be like a room around this portal. So um, the entire thing will be enclosed, so it's safer. Speaking of which, I don't even have torches down. I should probably uh, get uh, some of those in here before a creeper destroys everything that I've built. Um, okay, so next episode... Uh, okay, well, no, I'll put uh, some sort of ceiling on this guy. In the next episode, we shall... Um, we shall. We shall. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying we shall. It sounds so weird. Um, next episode, we will begin work on the farm. This will probably take us a couple episodes to finish because it's kind of a big project. It's a lot of farms. It's a lot of farms. Um, but I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. I think I might keep this grass vibe. I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking it. It's kind of, kind of, you know, natural along with being easy. Um, I think it's actually kind of cool because uh, I mean it's a farm, so like you kind of want grass, right? Um, I think. Anyway, um, I'm just talking. I'll put on a roof and then uh, we'll close up. All right, so we're all done. Uh, this is what it looks like. The roof's pretty, uh, pretty basic. It's a little bit of a detail, but it's kind of cool. Um, didn't really have enough glass to do it. A lot of stone brick. This will probably be changed eventually. But yeah, that's, um, that's how we're leaving it for now. So come back to the next episodes where we will be uh, building our farms, which is exciting. A whole bunch of redstone over the next few episodes. We got our portal hooked up. We checked out the skeleton farm. I'll be working over here for a while, but it's awesome. We have a skeleton farm up and running. We got our automatic farms um, on the way, on the way, coming soon. So uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao!